This is gonna be bullshit. I gotta keep resetting this shit. This is gonna be bullshit. See, when I put this shit up, then you should be able to read it. That's how I can tell if it's flipped right. The, the camera, the flip horizon. Yeah, so you should be able to read it. And there it is. Right there it is. Roasted garlic and herb seasoning. Yeah. Just remember to get the, the seasoning with the big web grill cover. This is what I got. This is my new stuff. My new batch. Then, of course, I put this on our fifth seasoning garlic powder. So, yeah. Sprinkle that on my chicken. Put it in the oven at 350. And my 6x9 aluminum cake pan. And that's it. No water, no oil, no nothing else. Just take the chicken, rinse it off lukewarm water real good. And then I'll put it in the cake pan and put that seasoning on there. Put it in the oven at 350. Yeah. My place going to be smell real good. I'll give it an hour and a half. You know, an hour and a half. Yeah. About an hour and a half. So let's see. That would be, uh, right now it's five minutes to five, so... I say it should be done at 6.30. You see? Yeah. Yeah. So we go all the way around. Half around. This should be done about 6.30. Dinner should be done at 6.30. Yeah. Oh, look. This, this camera is so clear. I can just about see my hazel eyes. See, I got hazel eyes. Being about every time I talk to a woman, you know, I'm like, wow, you got eyes like me. And they look and they smile like I do. So I don't say, I have gorgeous eyes. Why don't you women want me? <laughs> you know, this is what, you know, this is what really kind of freaks me out. Women tell me, don't ever change. Women tell me, don't ever change, Carl. You're a funny guy. You're all right. But guys tell me I can't get one because of the way I act. <laughs> I, I, I'm confused. I'm confused. You know, like, guys tell me I can't get a woman to wait because the way I act. And women tell me don't ever change. They say I'm funny, I'm cute, and, and uh, I get a good sense of humor. And I'm a nice guy to have around. Aww. Uh, I was down there with this one uh, lady, and she was for Geek Squad Tech Support. And she said, maybe you want to put a Band-Aid on your camera lens or whatever so uh, you hide your privacy. I said, that's all right. Go ahead. Turn it on. I don't care. You go ahead. Check me out if you want. And she's the first thing she said, oh, you cute. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you you cute. Aww. She said, I'm cute. Looks like you need to trim that mustache, huh? Yeah, I gotta trim that mustache. It grows quick. My hair, look at that. It grows quick. Anyways, I came on here on purpose to say, hey, this new laptop I got might be all right. Yeah. I'm just afraid to get the Geek Squad Geeks a lot of tech support on here because they're gonna mess it up. I know it. There was this lady on there. The the first guy he run updates and he was halfway done. Then the second lady took over and she deleted all my stuff. Man, messed it all up. And, and I got the third tech support on there, and he says he 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 can't believe that. He says he don't understand why would she be deleting important information. That's some fucked up shit. I, said, I think she was trying to destroy my shit on purpose. I didn't say shit, but I said, I think she was trying to destroy my laptop on purpose because I told her this is number seven, Best Buy. You know, you know I'm thinking, bitch about been raped by her daddy when she was three years old, and she hate men. 
And whenever she get contact with any man, she's going to do whatever she can to destroy his fucking life. Yeah? That, am I speaking the truth, Chi Chi? <laughs> yeah? Am I speaking the truth, truth Chi Chi? <laughs> you love me, huh? I love you too. You got one female that loves me. Oh, she downstairs and she covered with hair. <laughs> I think she likes me because I'm covered with hair too. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so uh, I, I I said I said some to some people at work that I was gonna give them a shout out, a shout out. Okay, this one's to you, Jake. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I call him Jacob from uh, Twilight. Yeah, and um, I was singing this one song. At work, and uh, it was uh, by uh, oh, Cheryl Crow, yeah. And, and uh, I wish somebody would put a comment on here what what's the name of the song. But she she goes, I think it's Are You Strong Enough to Be My Man? Maybe that's it. Are you strong enough to be my man? I got a face that I cannot show. I make up the rules as I go. Try to love me if you dare. Try to leave me if you don't care. Lie to me, and I promise I will believe. Lie to me, but please don't leave me. First time I heard that song, I cried. Oh, a sad song. It's got that good country beat, you know. They play it on the radio all the time at work, you know. I make up the rules as I go. I have a face that I cannot show. Try to understand me if you can. Are you strong enough to be my woman? <laughs> yeah, I gotta change the words, right? Can't be saying, are you strong enough to be my man? Because that would make me gay. I'm not gay. I love women. I just wish women would love me. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. They say I'm Bigfoot. I got a size 14 shoe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what does that tell you? <laughs> I want <gang. laughs> Hey, y'all want to see my guitar? Y'all want to see my guitar? I got a guitar. Yeah? Want to see my guitar? Uh, it's not a big one, <laughs> but it's a little one. I got it from my niece in Milwaukee. Long time ago. Oh shit, this thing's falling apart. Oh. It's falling apart. Let's crack it open right here. But it's still straight. Straight. That's how you can tell the guitar is going bad if it starts getting warped. I can't find a pick. I can't find a pick. I used to have a pick, but I can't find it. I'll use my credit. Any credit card?
Um, this thing tiny, <laughs> like a little ukulele. Well, at work, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm creating a new song at work, and I told the guys I'm gonna make a YouTube video of me singing it. Okay, you know that song, Cocaine, right? Well, I made a song called Crack Cocaine. Yeah, yeah. So. You, you know how the song goes like this? Wait. 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 How's that going? How's that going? Dun, 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 I'll be singing that at work. <laughs> if you want a big hit, just light up your big crack cocaine. Yeah, see? She's alright, she's alright, she's alright. Crack cocaine. <laughs> yeah. My dad told me if I didn't play the harmonica right, he was going to smash the guitar with my head. <laughs> ah. Sing along, crack cocaine. <laughs> hey, I 
tell you, man, work. I wonder how many likes I get for this video. Yeah. <laughs> they says it has a right tune, but it got to get it right. Yeah. So, I, you know, that's just a little sample of what I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to recreate that song. I'm trying to recreate it, but just change it a little bit, you know. Just change it a little bit. That's all. And I guess you can do that. You can do whatever you want on YouTube. Yeah, you can do whatever you want on YouTube. Yeah. And if people like it, they'll keep watching it. And I heard that I got a little blind spot right there. You see that? Right there. Look at that. A little blind. Little, whoa. See that? Whoa. I just noticed that. Whoa. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to take this fucking... This fucking back. I'm gonna have to take this back. I'm gonna have to take this fucking laptop back, man. This shit fucked up. This shit fucked up. Look at that. Wait a minute. Right there. Look at that. See that? Right there. It's got a line. It's got a line right there. See that? Yeah. There's something wrong with this fucking camera. See that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to take this piece of shit back. This is number seven. It's okay everywhere else. But when I get right here, look at that. Right there. See? Look at that. Look at that shit. Is it because of the sun? Here, I'll put on my light ones. Gee -gee. All right, there's an I'll put my lights on. Let me see. Oh, well, it's still there. See that? But it could be because of the light. It could be because of the sun. I don't know. No. See? It's still there. Yeah. It's still there. Look at that. And then ain't the lens. I don't know, Charter says that it's messed up. Charter says that uh, it's the laptop. They said the internet is fine. But the internet keeps shutting off. They said the, the wireless internet chip could be bad. That's what, that's, that's what Charter said. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to call up Geek Squad right now. That's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this fixed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'll get Geek Squad on here. Yeah. I'll get Geek Squad on here. If you want a big hit, just light up your big crack cocaine. If you like my song, just a sing along, crack cocaine. <laughs> she's all right, she's all right, she's all right, crack cocaine. <laughs> I got to work on that one. Uh, hey, uh, if you like that, you just let me know, and I'll make you more, all right? I, I'll have to start writing it down on paper. You know, I want to recreate that whole song, but with that verse, you know, because you know how, you know, they got they got that song, Crack Cocaine. I mean, it's not Crack Cocaine, but it's, it's Cocaine, you know? Yeah, it, it, that's a rock song. That, that song's been out since the fucking 80s, yeah. But anyways, I, I want to change it, because, you know, you know, you know, I, I did. I smoked a lot of crack cocaine, and I, I'm not ashamed of it. 
<laughs> it's just that uh, what made me quit was watching motherfuckers smoke up my shit. Yeah, that's what made me quit. Motherfuckers geeking and shit, smoking up my shit. That's what made me quit. Yeah. Sure, I like to get high, but I don't want to watch motherfuckers smoke up my money. Fuck that. So I quit. Yeah. Motherfuckers get all geeked up and smoke up your shit, so I quit. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, hey, I'm on. I'm called tech support right now. I'm calling up tech support, geek squad tech support. They're going to fix my motherfucking computer. They're going to fix my laptop. I'm going to call them up right now. Let me see. Now you're going you're gonna to get this shit. Watch, watch how they talk to me. Here come the cops. Here come the cops. Will be monitored or recorded for training and quality purposes. Hear the sirens? Hear the sirens? Which of the following can I help you with today? You can say repairs, technical assistance. Technical assistance. Oh shit, the sirens stopped. They're coming here. Hide the drugs. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't do drugs. Huh? What? Hello? Hello? Computers. Okay. Let me transfer you to someone who will help you. Please wait. If you like my song, just a sing along, crack cocaine. If you want a big hit, just light up your big crack cocaine. She's alright, she's alright, she's alright. Crack cocaine. If you guys think I'm drunk, I'm not. It's just that I hear this stuff you mix up with your water. It's got caffeine in it. Yeah. Thank you for calling me. Well, my name is Agent Johnson. I'm just going to have the pleasure of speaking to you today. Carl Kish. What was her name? Carl Kish. And how are you today? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you you ever okay? You get the bottles of water, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know those little mixes that you you tear them open and put them in your water. Uh -huh. Yeah. Did you ever try that that uh, mango peach? Yes, I actually have. Yeah. It's uh, like a orange. Like, well, no, well, no, it's in the packages in the box. Yeah, the mixed drinks. Yeah, yeah, they got the peach mango with the caffeine. I don't like them. Yeah, that that's what that's what I, I'm on right now. <laughs> so I'm pumped up. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, anyways, um, you, okay, I just got this laptop last Friday. Okay, not this Friday, but last Friday, I just got this laptop, and I. I ordered one, and I had um, Best Buy in Madison, East Town. I said, okay, when it comes on in, you guys go ahead and uh, run all the updates, do all the downloads, make sure it's all running good, and I'll come in Friday and pick it up, you know? And they, say, they go, sure, fine, you know? Well, when I got there, the guy never plugged it in to the Internet. He never had the wireless on. And I said, it's all done and ready to go. And he was supposed to give me a 15-minute free learning lesson of how to use it. So he should have had it plugged in, turned on, said, here you go. Try it out. Tell me if you're satisfied. And if there's any questions, let me know. Right? No, he didn't do that. He acted all dumb and stupid, couldn't even look me in the eye. And uh, I said, oh, so they got it all ready. All the updates ran in that. And he goes, yep, all ready to go, you know. And then uh, he goes, here, I'll turn it on for you. 
And then when he turned it on, he goes, he goes, he goes, I don't know why it's doing that, but it started going, you know, one, two, three, four, reset, whatever, you know. I'm like, oh, God, here we go. Brand new laptop, you know. And it's resetting itself. They reset it, see. And then I said to him, I says, whoa, wait a minute. This was supposed to be all ready to go. They told me on the phone it was ready to go. It's all ready to pick, pick it up. All the updates are at. I go, where's the UCAM? Where's anything? There's nothing on here. He goes, uh, pardon me, sir, but what are you, what are you talking about? I asked for you guys to run the updates. We did. All the updates are on. It's all ready to go. Well, how come UCAM's not on there? He goes, what are you talking about? I go, you want me to take you over by these other computers and show you what I'm talking about? Because when you run the updates, that comes on automatically. You can. Why are you going to sell a laptop with a, with a you can and not, you don't have it, right? Okay. Yeah. So uh, he acted all dumb and stuff, you know, and he's supposed to be this high-tech person, you know. And I, I know he knows that they messed it up. They should have never even tried selling it to me. They should have called me up on the phone and said, look, we had some complications, you know, update error, it crashed, and we're not going to even try to give it to you because when you get it, you're going to want to return it right away, not waste your time like driving 70 miles there to pick it up and then find out, drive 70 miles back and find out it don't work. That was wrong, eh? And now they're giving me a, they're, they're giving me a hard time because, okay, so now they had a, I had to take it back. They had to order another one, and I told them, don't touch it, you know. I said, I'll take it home, and I'll run updates myself, you know. Uh -huh. and, and so I got this one technician on there, and uh, he was just about complete with the updates. And he says, sorry, Carl. He typed in there. He says, sorry, Carl, but my time is running out. We're changing shifts, and I'm going to have to transfer you to another technician. Is that okay? I said, well, I guess I have no choice. He goes, no, really, <laughs> you don't, because my ship is changing, and I can't just stay on here. So I said, okay, whatever, you know. And so he got this lady on there. I'm not discriminating, but when she got on there, she didn't know nothing what was going on, and then she started deleting stuff, you know. When it's running updates, you're not even supposed to mess with it, right? And she says, I'm like, whoa, whoa, slow it down. And she's like, like a, a, a fly on a rotten piece of meat looking for a sweet pot, spot to suck on. And she goes, I'm just checking a few things. I'm like, well, you're not supposed to be doing anything when it's running updates. You know, you're just supposed to let it do its you know, own thing, right? So, see, she got on there and she started deleting this and deleting that and deleting this and deleting that and crossing off of that. I'm like, oh, my God, she's destroying my computer. And then when she got done, she says, okay, Carl, it's all done. You want to check it out? And the first thing I said to her, where is my UCAM? She goes, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, oh, my God, here we go again. She deleted all my stuff. Everything that guy put on it, she deleted. And then I got on this third technician, and he looked at the update history. He says, he says, that, he says I don't know why she did it. Our, our technicians are... Not supposed to delete important information, you know, updates or downloads. You know. He goes, I don't understand why she did that. I said, I think she did on purpose because I typed in there, please take your time. That Best Buy said this is laptop number seven and they're not replacing anymore. So I have to be careful with this one not to mess it up. And she deleted everything and then it's like, and then she couldn't get UCAM on and then she tried going to the store. You know, the story area, you know, you click onto it. And she clicked onto the camera. She goes, is this it? I'm like, no, that's not it. That's a new cam. It's Cyberlink. Power cam. You know, it's like, oh, my God. And then I, I go here. Let me, and then she's fighting with me with the mouse. You know, and I'm trying to drag it over. And she's pulling it up. You know, and I just, let me do this, okay? She goes, sure, fine. You know, so I clicked on HP, and here she had it all deleted, and she, you know, was like, oh, my God. And then, um, so I, I showed her where it was, you know, Cyberlink, uh, UCAM 5, you know, 
upload, upload or download or whatever, and she deleted it. I caught up Best Buy right away, and I said, look, she's already messed it up. I know you guys said no more, but I don't even want this thing now, you know, because I said she deleted it all, and now she can't get it back on, you know. And the guy goes, well, bring it on in, and we'll check it out. I go, you know, you guys are 70 miles away. I'm not going to bring it in, drop it off, and then wait till you guys can fix it, and then come back and pick it up. I says, I got that 15-day option. If the customer is not satisfied with it, you can exchange it. Just exchange it, you know. You got 15 days. He goes, I understand that, but you exchanged so many of them that we're, we're not doing it no more. I mean, well, this lady's already messed it up. You know? So then, anyways, then uh, she finally she finally got the new cam back on there. You know, and then um, she goes, are we done? I go, yeah, we're done. You know, I hit the red X, and that was it. I'm done with her, you know. But then I got the third technician. You're number four now, you know, since I bought it. Because I'm afraid to have anybody else go on there because they're going to mess it up some more. But when the last technician got on here, the, the third one, he says updates were never ran. And there's a big red X on it. When they did the, uh, the diagnosis, you know, when you ran the diagnosis, it didn't crash. Not so far. It hasn't crashed. That's a good thing. But he said no, updates were available and were never installed. I'm like, see, there we go. And the other technician, the first one, was almost complete with the updates. And then she deleted all of them. She, I mean, she's, she was zipping through here so quick and fast. I said, look, I'm going to make the updates. I haven't eaten yet. And then uh, I said, take your time. You know, don't mess it up, please. You know, I need this. I need this to work. I said, if you mess it up, I'm going to be done with Best Buy. I'm, I'm done. I want my 900 bucks back, and I'm done. That's it. I'll go to Staples and get a computer from them, you know, something that's going to work. And she goes, don't worry, I'll make it work. So when I went to make my breakfast, and I came back, you know, and she didn't know that, and I was watching, and here she was zipping through everything. Zip, 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 delete, delete, zip, 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 delete, delete, blop, blop, bloop, you know, zipping through. And I'm sitting there, and I just wanted to smash the thing up in pieces. You know, when I asked her to take her time, don't mess it up, and here she is. I think she's doing it on purpose, you know. And when she was done... There was nothing on there. It was just pretty much junk. And I just, I just wanted to smash it up in a little piece and say, that's it, I'm done. I can't take this no more. Seven laptops. You know, this is my last chance in here. She just messed it all up. And it's like, but then, uh, she, I, when I mentioned that I'm done with Best Buy, you know, if she, if she can't get it fixed, she, she got the UCAM back on her. And then when she says, are we done here? you want to check it out? I said, no, we're done. And I clicked her off right away. I should have clicked her off right from the beginning. When I technician said, is that okay that he switches over? I should have said no. Just stop stop the session and that's it. Because uh, when she got on, I just had this bad feeling it's going to get messed up. You know? Especially when, when you're running the updates. You're not supposed to stop it. You're not supposed to power off. and uh, You know about that, right? Yeah. So anyway, so here you are, the fourth one, you know, and I'm freaking out, you know. Yeah, because he said, okay, and then he recommended me for the call charter, okay, because my internet kept shutting off, and he got disconnected. The first technician got disconnected seven times. That was not good from the beginning with this new laptop. And then uh, the other one, she got disconnected, and then she told me to click on to the web root, right? And she says to unblock something, you know, so the user or something, so she can get back on it. I mean, because what she was doing, web root blocked her, cut her right off. See? It, it felt, the, the laptop felt threatened. Like, whoa, whoa, stop, you know, and boom, blocked her right off. And then she had me put her back on. That's how bad she was messing it up. Webroot was doing her job, you know. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is she doing that? And then took her right off. Blocked her. And then she's frustrated because she couldn't get back on. And, and then it's like, I was laying in bed watching a movie. And I'm like, 
Well, maybe she's running updates or something. Maybe she's fixing what she messed up. You know, but I saw that, you know, how, there was two of them on there, you know, where, you know, where they get the writing, right? And I was like, well, I better check out, see what's going on. And I put on there, I clicked on there, are you still there? She goes, yes, I'm still there. She goes, I'm having trouble reconnecting with your system. She says, I need you to go onto web root and click on to something and do something and, and do something else and then, you know, click, you know, delete or something and, and then uh, she was able to get back on. She she was trying to fix what she messed up. That's what she was trying to do. Okay, but another thing, I never finished yet. But Charter, I had Charter come here the next day. They cut the wire from the telephone pole and replaced all the wiring in my whole apartment. They replaced all the wiring. They 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 uh, checked out the modem and the wireless internet, and they said everything's running up to date. Everything's working fine. They went into my computer. They did a few adjustments of that. And with the channels, they changed the channel. She had it on a six. They changed it to channel nine or whatever. And then they did a few other things, you and they said, okay, everything's running fine. And then they said, okay, now you need to get back. And the guy told me, once I get Charter straightened out, the wiring in that, to go ahead and call you guys back and then finish this diagnosis. So, okay, well, I'm going to give her one more chance. And, and when you tell the next technician to go in there to a complete, you know, clean up or whatever, Check the whole thing or run all the updates, you know, and uh, hopefully she didn't really mess it up that bad. Okay? Okay. All right. I feel a little bit better, but boy, that caffeine really, <laughs> you know, you got me pumped. All right. Yeah, you, you can see, you know, that this guy is frustrated, right? We're talking thousands of dollars, you know? Each time I re replace the laptop, you know? Yeah, and I keep exchanging, exchanging, exchanging seven times. This is number seven. But I already got number eight picked out. I told him, I told him a number, and they said, well, if this one's messed up, if you can verify that she messed it up, I'm going to have to take it back to Madison and just get another one, you know? Uh, I'll give him one more last ride because I already got the serial number and uh, the SKU number, the model number. It's uh, thirty dollars more than the one I got. This one's six fifty, and the other one's six eighty. As I paid the thirty dollar difference, I just want something that's gonna work nice. But I also noticed when I, I got a new cam right now that, like, on the side of the edge there, you know, that it's got like a like a line through it. And then when I put my head on it, it only shows like a half of a head. Like, man, I hope she didn't mess. That's why I called you, because I, I can't take it no more. Because when she messed up Cyberlink, you can. You know, I don't think it's running right. But, okay, yeah, you ready now for my information? So, so the UCAM's not working. Uh, well, it's, it's working right now, but like I said, there's a line, you know, on the left side of the screen. There's a line, divider line. And when I put my head by it, I just noticed that because I was moving my head from side to side. When I was putting my head past there, that it was showing, like, my head, like, two different sizes. You know, like, there was, like, a, a vertical line going straight up and down on the left side. And I noticed that half my head or the side of my head was a little bigger than the other side. You know, like, there's a line right down the edge, you know. And, uh, like, wait a minute, come on, you know, so if I put my eyeball on it, right, half my eyeball is big and the other half is small, and it goes right down the middle, right down the side, the left side of the, the, Moper. and I, I did wipe off where the camera is, you know, I'm, I'm very careful not to touch around it, because I know, I keep that clean, you know, and I got the cloth, you know, the emery cloth, whatever, they come with the laptop, keep it clean. But I cleaned it off, there's nothing on there, you know, but, um, man, software issue, right? Yeah, well, that's what I'll hope it's software.
Yeah, because yeah, because otherwise, you know, when she deleted, you know, the software for, you know, man, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to take this back. I I have a bad feeling. Okay, we you ready for my information? Okay, 920-928-2205. Right. Alright. And of course, you know, we need to get a Yep. Wait, what'd you say? Uh, for the remote session, we'll need to get a geeksquad.com. Okay. You want me to do that now? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> 